Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. With my boat being in the shop, I thought this would be a good time to do a tackle tip video on co-angler gear. Because if I go, I'm going to be going with somebody else or in somebody else's boat. And as a boater, you know, we gather so much gear in our own boats and I've got 15 or 20 rods in my boat. So I've got to be able to downsize because I can't take 15 or 20 rods with me or I can't take all my tackle boxes. So in the next two videos, I'm going to go over gear for being a co-angler or downsizing from being a boater to a co-angler. So you'll know what the best setups are, in my opinion, to take with you. So I'm going to start out with six rods. Um, and it was not easy for me to go from 15 or 20 rods down to six rods, but these Rods will get you through almost every situation. I'm uh, sponsored by Ducket Fishing, so these are all going to be Ducket Fishing rods. Um, but you'll be able to get a general idea just based off the actions I'm talking about. If you, um, you know, for other brands, if you're not interested in Ducket rods, um, so I'm going to start out with this. Um, I think you should carry a spinning rod with you. Uh, this is a Jacob Wheeler seven foot medium action spinning rod with a ducket fishing paradigm spinning reel on it. Um, these are very good rods and reels. Um, I've been really, really impressed with the Jacob Wheeler series rods. Um, I originally started out fishing the Micro Magics, and then when they came out with the Terex series, I moved to those because they had a slightly larger guide. Um, but now that they've come out with these Wheeler rods, these Wheeler rods kind of have an in-between guide between the Terex and the Micro Magic and Triad series and the actions of them that Jacob come up with are just really good. They feel really good. And so most of these that I'm gonna show you today are going to be the Jacob Wheeler series. Um, but this will get you through your drop shots, um, your Ned rigs and things like that if you're on a, in a, a wacky rig and um, if you're in areas like that. So this can cover all your spinning rod needs. The next rod I want to talk to you about is a dedicated crankbait rod, a uh, deep diving crankbait rod. Now, if you're fishing, if you know you're going somewhere where the water, water's super shallow and you're not going to be fishing deep, then you don't necessarily have to carry this rod with you. But if you're going somewhere where you know you're going to be doing some deep cranking, then you really do need to have this as one of those rods you're going to take with you. Um, this is a Ducket Fishing Triad 7 foot 6 medium heavy action crankbait rod. Um, this is the one that I, out of all the crankbait rods I've used, this is my favorite so far. Now, a lot of people like a composite rod, um, and Jacob Wheeler actually has a composite rod, a uh, crankbait rod. Um, I'll link below, but this is the one that I have, and I really like it. Um, hookup ratios have been great. It's got good backbone down here, but a really soft tip. And um, that 7.6 with a, paired with a ducket reel, I can really bomb these crankbaits a really long way. So um, not only can you fish crankbaits on these, you can fish some, some of the um, some swim baits, some of the smaller swim baits with the, you know regular size treble hooks like these. It does great for that in my um, experience, although I don't fish them a whole lot. Um, but I think you definitely need to carry a crankbait rod, a dedicated crankbait rod with you. It may be a little heavy for throwing square bills. Um, I have done that and have caught fish on it, but I've got another rod I'm going to show you for throwing square bills and whatnot. Um, but basically you would use this for the deep diving crankbaits and you would use this for like smaller swim baits. So the rod that I would use for square bills is actually the Jacob Wheeler 6 foot 10 medium action rod, casting rod. This little rod is great. I've been really impressed with this rod. Um, so you could take this rod to fish the square bills, or um, I like to fish, uh, a lot of times I'll fish a whopper plopper on it. Um, or any other top water. This is a little uh, live target popping frog. Um, I've got my line twisted up here that, uh, you know, it, it, this, this rod, the tip on this rod, it really does. It's really, really soft and really flexible. Um, I mean, it's just, it's got a lot of tip to it and it's, it's great 
for those top water baits to um, to really be able to walk them really well. And plus, it has enough gift that when they hit the t uh, hit it, it gives them time to get it before you swing on them. And so, in in that sense, it makes a great square bill rod um, because you you get you can feel the square bill going through the water, and they grab it, and they have time. It has time to get it before it rips those hooks out of their mouth. So, like the six foot ten Jacob Wheeler medium action rod perfect for whopper ploppers, popping baits, walking pencil baits, and crank baits. So this should cover you for all of those areas in, an, uh, in that situation. And my next rod I'd like to recommend is Jacob Wheeler 7 foot medium heavy. And you can see what I have on it. This is my go-to rod for spinner baits and buzz baits and uh, spins, you name it, that's what I throw on this rod. It has a super good tip for a medium heavy rod and it is just perfect for these type of baits. Um, so this, this rod will cover you in that and those areas. There are like many, many different techniques you can use a medium heavy for. To me, a medium heavy, a seven foot medium heavy is the perfect all around rod. This rod here has enough tip, you could throw square uh, crankbaits on it if you're in a pinch. Um, it's got enough tip that they're still going to let it get it. You're not going to have the hookup ratio you'd have if you were fishing that medium action rod or that medium heavy deep diver rod, but you could get away with it if you were in a pinch. I highly recommend this rod for, if you could only have one rod in your entire arsenal, it would be this seven foot medium heavy Jacob Wheeler casting rod. It will get you through every situation out there. Um, so really consider this one if you need a new rod. This is a great rod. It's Jacob Wheeler's rods are really light. He designed them. They're really light, uh, super easy throw all day. Got a comfortable exposed reel seat. Um, EVA foam handles. I have a shrink wrap around mine uh, just because I like the tacky feel of it. But these are just these are super good rods with the Texas Rig Hook Keepers. This will get you through all those moving baits, such as spinner baits, bladed jigs, and uh, buzz baits. Then I like to have another seven foot medium heavy. Now this one is a Ducket Fish and Terex. Um, I, if I could, I would have another one of those Jacob Boiler rods, but there's nothing wrong with this rod. But I simply have this one for two things and you're probably not going to agree with me on the second part of this but i like to throw uh weightless baits like a, a zoom super fluke uh senkos um that that's basically what this rod is for for me is there for but i also throw jerk baits on on a medium heavy um kevin van dam fishes a medium heavy on his jerk baits i figure if it works for him it worked for me um, he probably changes his hooks out to heavier hooks, but these rods have enough tip, enough give in the tip that you're not going to bend out hooks, and especially the, with the seven foot medium heavy Jacob Wheeler rod. So this is my go-to rod for weightless baits and jerk baits. Now, this is the final rod that I'm gonna talk about out of the six. This is a Jacob Wheeler seven foot three heavy action. He's got two heavy action rods. He's got a seven foot three heavy and a seven foot six heavy. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're talking about six rods that you can carry as a co-angler to get you through every situation. Although I'm getting the seven foot six for me to flip with, right now I'm flipping with the seven foot three. But this rod right here is the do it all for the heavy action rods in my opinion of the jacob wheeler series you can flip your creature baits you can fish your soft plastic worms you can fish jigs on them i fish a jig on this rod this same rod um, you can fish frogs on this rod so this would be your your go-to heavy action and i'm only carrying one heavy action in those six rods and this is going to be it, the Jacob Wheeler 7 foot 3 heavy action. It'll get you get everything done that you need it to do uh, to meet your needs, whether you're flipping heavy cover or dragging a Texas rig through grass or 
skipping jigs under docks, this rod will get it done for you. It has great tip. It's very parabolic. And it just, it's, it's a great all around rod. And this rod is super, super light. I used to flip and pitch with a seven foot four Tarek. Also, I flipped for a little while with the seven foot six extra heavy triad. This rod is so much lighter than either one of those, but still has the backbone to get them out of that heavy cover that that triad had. So that's the six rods I'm gonna choose to go in someone else's boat. Now that I'm having to do that and having to think about that, I decided that, that this would be the perfect time to, to sit down and decide which rods I had to have to carry with me. So I'm gonna link each one of those below. Uh, and like I said, you don't have to go with the Ducats. You don't have to go with the Wheeler Series if you don't like the Wheeler Series. But I highly suggest if you've never tried the Jacob Wheeler Series rods, give them a try. They are great rods. He did a great job designing those rods. Now, a couple other things I want to talk to you about with the rods. Since you're having to downsize and you're going with somebody else, some key things that I think you need to have. Number one, rod socks. You want to keep these to protect your rods while you're transporting them. Um, but you've got to have these. These protect your rods. And there's, I'm going to talk to you about two of them, two different brands. Um, I'm sponsored by both of these brands, but this is my primary rod protection is the Rod Socks brand, the original Rod Socks. I really like them because they're coated down here on the end to protect from treble hooks getting hung in them. They got a good tip on them. You can hang them but they're really super tight weaves. You don't have to worry about your tips po uh, or your guides poking up through them. But another one that you might want to consider is the upriver rod sleeves. Now these are cloth, um, so you definitely don't have to worry about guides coming through them. They have the hangers on them. They have loops on the end to loop around the reels and pull them tight where they won't come off. The material they're made out of, it's very hard to catch um, hooks in them. So these are also very good um, rod protection. And I'll link both of those below. But I want to talk to you about the Upriver. They make a rod caddy. And what it is, it's an extra large one of these rod sleeves. And it's made for you to slide all your, you've got your rod socks or these on all your rods. And then this is a larger one that slides over all of them and then has kind of a, a strap at the back, it straps all your rods together and it's got a handle so you can carry them all. And I'll link that below. And it just makes it that much easier because you're not just grabbing all your rods like this and trying to carry them. You're taking them all, you've got them all in that sleeve where you can tote it along with your tackle bag. So like I said, all the products I've talked about today, I'm gonna link below. And I know some of you may have other actions you like for other types of techniques, but I think if you go with these six these six actions, that they'll get you through um, a co-angler day or going with somebody and going in somebody else's boat. So next week, I'm gonna talk about the tackle bag I use to consolidate all my tackle down from my boat um, to be able to carry with me or to be able to unpack from my boat, whatever the case may be. And uh, I think y'all enjoy that. So stick with us. Check it out next week for part two of this. And yet again, all the products I talked about will be down in the description below linked. And I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like it if you like it. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to comment on it if you have other ideas. Or if you disagree with me on, on the actions, tell me what you like. I, I like to hear other people's ideas. I'm always learning, always putting other... Uh, people's ideas and use and I think that's what makes us all better anglers is when we're willing to learn from people so we'll catch you next time